What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. <laughs> Guess what? We're installing over fenders on the G. Let's go. Um, I got, I, I picked up a used, not used. <laughs> Woo! All right, we're doing live party. Over fenders, let's do it. But yes, I picked up a uh, non-used Rocket Bunny. I think it might be a replica That's kit. That's not used, by the way. It's definitely a re replica kit, obviously. But I picked it up for a really good price. Uh, we're just doing the front over fenders right now because I have to order different rear over fenders because the kit doesn't look right on my car. I want to get the Mafia rear over fenders. But in order to get started, we have to air up the car and then take off the plastic dip <laughs> on the front fenders. So let's go. <laughs> Guys. Here goes the end of uh, season what, 2019? Whoa! Dude, so wait, this actually shows. Blue Tiger oh, yes! This is so Racing satisfying. Truck. Oh my, look how satisfying this is. Wow. Oh! Dude! We did a good job, holy cow. You went and robbed a bank with your blue cart? And Dude, that literally came off like nothing. Look at that, holy cow. You, keep, you, gotta, you gotta keep a piece of this, but only one. Yeah, let's keep. We'll, we'll try that on the other side. We'll keep the biggest piece we yeah. can. Well, we can get a huge piece right now. Right? We'll try to keep the whole fender. Stop. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> that feels so weird. That looks so cool. Look at that bare white. Ah, yep. Yep. Wow. Yo, whoever spray this is an idiot. I want to try to get the biggest piece possible. Bless you. Kogan's like, wait, we're not supposed to. Mm. These are tucked under the head of the lights. <laughs> I'm blind. No. The light is on my. <laughs> Do that again. <laughs> Just gotta get all the edges first. Not very... It ain't going too hot down here. So we're doing the new bacon fender mod. Uh, first thing you want to do is plastic up the car. Yep. And then you get strips of bacon like this. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm gone. Hang on. Come on. Come on. I also want. What are you guys doing over here? What are you guys doing? Fuck <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what we're doing now, um, we got it all taped up on the fender. We used some blue masking tape because we're gonna throw the fender on here to kind of line up where we want to have the holes and cut stuff. So. Yeah, I don't even know why we peeled off the dip, because it would have made it easier, but whatever. Ready? All right, we're about to finally send it. I drew out kind of like a trace here. Um, I'm starting off small because I don't want to go too big and cut off too much, and then it looks kind of funky, so we kind of just want to cut like a small piece, and then if we need to, go bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, until we have the fitment like exactly the way like you know I want it so here we go I kind of threw this tape on here because you know I can't see the black marks on fucking black paint but whatever here we go I'm scared I'm very scared you got it oh god All right, so we're tracing out our second cut here. We've mocked it up a few times. Um, we traced out this first one. I put it back on, still showed through the vents. So I'm gonna bring it back a little bit more, go up a little bit more, and then bring it back more, and then cut it. 
back more as well. So we're taking out a bigger chunk this time, which is gonna be scarier, but it's a full send. So yeah, and then we're gonna kinda, yeah. Uh, yeah, well. We can go more than that. Yeah, no, just arc it with to the bottom. I mean, I'll get an idea when I'm cutting it, so. All right, here we go. All right, guys. So me and Coke got a pretty, pretty good, <laughs> pretty good cut. It looks really good. I kind of matched the arch to the whole entire cut, so it looks really nice and clean. Um, one thing I was telling Coke is if I get an F, when I get my aftermarket front bumper, I'm gonna try to see if I can match the arch starting from here into this cut, and then rebracket it somewhere over here, so that way it looks all like really flush and nice i don't know but now we're gonna drill holes through the over fender and mock it up permanently where we want it on the actual fender and drill holes through that and get the bolts on and then i think we're done for this side and then tomorrow we'll probably get knock that out and actually be pretty quick because this only took like an hour and a half so and that's like with us taking our time and like making cuts and stuff Several yeah cuts before we got here so now we know what we're doing so we can replicate it on that side and it'll go by really fast so yeah let's get it baby we drilled all of the holes it was a bit tricky um holding it i had to have like three people and i had, or two people hold the fender down and then i had to drill the holes but um i thought i'd share with you guys what i'm using to hold the fender flares on um as you guys can see, they're already in there, but I thought I'd share with you guys. I picked this up at Ace Hardware. I see a lot of people buy these dress-up kits and stuff like that, but it's just really simple. It's called a walnut, I think it is, or something like that. Um, I don't remember ex the exact name, but it looks like this. Um, you can find them with any wide-body kit, actually. And then I'm just using a regular uh, Allen key screw that goes in there and then I used a rubber grommet to space it. I want to make it look flush and have a watertight seal and everything like that so it protects it from the elements. So we're about to try and throw the fender on, see if it all works. Let's I'm, <laughs> I'm surprised we just like we're able to do this kind of a job. This is yeah. <laughs> it's gone a lot smoother than I thought it would. Hell yeah. Alright, I gotta I'll update you guys if once we get this on. So yeah. Hopefully we did this good. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll fuck. <laughs> what up, tube you? We're uh, in the next day now. Um, let's see. We got the left fender on, uh, but I did draw, drill, draw, drill. <laughs> I drilled the holes in a wrong spot uh, right here and here. Um, just was sitting like this, and that's how I had it, and it just looks so funky. So I want to see if I could bring this out more so the gap looks more proper in the arc looks proper as well but we got ryan here we're waiting for Kogue. he'll be here eventually but we're gonna go ahead and get started on this side replicate the cut now that i know exactly what cut i'm doing i'll kind of trace it out the same way i did on that side and we'll just send it hopefully we could do it in one cut we'll see how we do but yeah let's get it baby i'll probably pop this fender off again just so I can, or maybe I'll drill these holes first and then pop off the fender and then that way I can look at that cut and transfer it to this side as well. So yeah, let's get it. Um, I'm using a piece of cardboard to trace out the same cut that I made to see if I can replicate it on the other side. So that way I can just do this in one cut. Um, I don't know, I feel like it would be better if I traced it out as well. That way it'd be, 
kind of like the same looking cut. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't want it to look all wank on two different sides. So yeah, we're about to cut this out. All right, guys, so we got the uh, trace over to this side. We kind of made more straight lines. I don't know, Did like a little rough trace with the cardboard. Look at Ryan's holding it up. You. Yeah. But we got it all. But now we're about to send it and make the cuts. So let's go. All right, we got the other side cut out. Like I said, so now we're drilling the holes through this fender, and then we're gonna start drilling the holes into the actual fender. Hopefully not screw it up like we did this one. <laughs> I just gotta patch those two holes up there. It shouldn't be too hard. I got a buddy of mine that has a trick with it, with super gluing a penny to the back, and then using Bondo to fill it in, so yeah. It's been a couple days. Um, I've been working. It's Wednesday, middle of the week. Um, I thought I'd just give you guys a quick update as to what I did and kind of just because I'm making like adjustments because it's really, really strange when I air out and stuff. I can't make the turns and stuff like that. So I'll just show you guys where I'm going to be cutting probably tomorrow. I'll have Kogan come over again. Um, but yeah, here, I'll show you guys real quick. Put a bunch of spacers on just to test fit the flush, the fitment or whatever. So that way when I do get wheels, that way I can figure out all the adjustments I need to make here. But um, I feel like right where the tire ends, so like probably right where, where I finish this cut right here, I'm gonna have to go straight up and then over and finish the arc like this so it's nice and clean because the wheel does not uh, turn inside when you make a right or a left on the other side. So that's what the adjustment I will make tomorrow. Because I did make a cut, but it's not enough, so I'm going to probably just go straight up from here like this and go over like I said on the other side. So, till tomorrow, which will be like a couple seconds, not even a second, it'll be like half a second, millisecond till I show you guys the next clip. But we're moving along here. Hell yeah, let's keep going to the next day, just like that. I'm so damn cold, but... I de ugh, decided to cut this straight down um, so that way it would clear when we're aired up a little bit. And then over here on the side, we cut straight up like I said and cut and match that arc all the way through. But now the car is just, it looks, it looks nuts. Like Ryan's taking some awesome pictures. Shout out to Ryan. You'll probably see that on Instagram. But this thing just looks nuts right now with the front over fenders. Absolutely nuts. I can't wait for this season. Oh my gosh. It's so cold. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here on how to install the front over fenders or just me installing them, playing with them. Um, there's definitely gonna be some more videos coming soon. Thanks to uh, Ryan for helping me. See? And Kogan, he's not here right now, but shout out to Kogan. He helped me a lot too. With this whole build, we're all helping each other and I'm excited for this season. So let's go. Don't forget to subscribe. Go follow my Instagram like all the videos leave a comment i'll see you guys in the next one peace out and let's keep going Jesus.